Friday night lights are shining bright. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Casey McAvoy, and I'll be bringing you all the football action this season on the Scoreboard Show. Let's kick off week one highlights in Ellis, where the Railroaders took on the Norton Community Blue Jays. Railers, the mighty Railers. Sorry, that's a terrible Chris Berman impersonation. Blue Jays coming on the field. Norton kicks off to start. Railers, Austin Lopez looks like he's going to go all the way, but is stopped at the sideline. Yeah, that's going to be brought back by a penalty. Unfortunately, we hate those yellow flags. The Railers coming back. Blue Jays trail lane gets a good gain up the middle. Lane again, gets the carry. He's going to take this one for 12 yards. Norton quarterback, Norton quarterback Spencer Shirt. Keeps the ball, he gets a little gain. Nothing going there. Blue Jays gonna take this one to the air. Complete pass to Billy Brokelman. Sorry if I butcher your names, guys. You're gonna have to bear with me here. Norton's trail lane goes in strong for a 10 yard TD. That's six for the Blue Jays. Blue Jays, Cade McKenna. Gets the stop on the Raiders. Raiders, Caden McCoy. He's going to get a good gain on this play. Ellis drops back, throws a tight end, Gerald Hurl for a first down. Nice catch. Raiders, McCoy, going to get another good gain on this trap play. Running over them Blue Jays. And the Norton cheerleaders firing up the crowd. L-E-T-S, Joe, let's go, let's go. L-E-T-S, Joe, let's go. Railers, Jacob Kinderconnect takes a snack. Takes a snack, not with a snap. And hands toward the outside. Blue Jays, Lane, picks up more yardage on this carry. Run in and run in. Finally down. Norton. Looks for the pass. Stopped by the Railers. Final score, Norton 13, Ellis 0. Next week, Norton takes on St. Francis, Ellis at Plainville. Here we are at Lions, the pride. Sophomore quarterback Matt Vincent pitches to Michael Vincent. Not sure where to go. Gets brought down by a host of Warriors. Loud and proud are the pride, the blue and white. Vincent goes back to pass. He has Brendan Lewis open. He's going to overthrow him on that one. Vincent again, back to pass. <laughs> Sacked by senior Les Riggs. Loud and proud and big. Lions punting away. Fair catch. Warriors on offense. Quarterback Dylan Richmond takes a snap, hands off to Riggs, who bulldozes his way through the pack. Richmond under center again, hands off to the mighty hard to bring down Les Riggs. Richmond takes a snap. Colton Johnson goes in motion, takes a pitch. He's going to get six on this one. Two point conversion, going to come up a little short. Lucas Padilla back to take the kick for the Lions. Warriors are all over the top of this one. Vincent under sender. Hands off to Vincent for a short game. And Vincent and Vincent strike again. Mike's will take it up. Michael takes it up the sideline for a big gain. And of course, the pack attack at the end of the run. Final score of this game, Marion 20, Lions 7. Marion's going to be at Inman. Lions will be playing Hillsboro. Big game by Tyler Leatherberry right there. And we're at Clay Center where the Ells, excuse me, where the Clay Center Tigers taken on Ellsworth in Ellsworth. The Bearcats led by head coach Ken Winholst. Jacob with him down the middle for a touchdown.
dropped in the backfield. Play center, number seven to pass. Number eight, Caden Anderson, gonna get some yards on this play. Nice cutback. Play center, number 23, Colton Easterberg. He's gonna score this one. He's got it. Boom, boom, boom. He's in. Ellsworth, wanna take the kick. Trying to get up the middle. Is he down, is he down, is he down? Yep, yep, he's down. Takes it up the outside. Number seven with the run again, breaking some yards, breaking some tackles, gaining some yards. Pass down the middle. Final score of this one, Clay Center 35, Ellsworth 14. Next week, Ellsworth will be at Beloit Clay Center. We'll take on Riley County.